Good morning everyone. So this is the NutriChef cold brew coffee maker. So this is my third run doing this and I figured I'd show you guys exactly how it goes, what goes into it. I've already got a little bit of fluid in here because I didn't have a measuring cup big enough. But you start out with what you want for your coffee. In this case I have coffee I brewed this morning, let it come back down to room temperature. And it goes out that you want to do a max of 75% of the canister. So around 46 ounces. Um, the container can actually hold 64 total, but you got to have room for the nitrogen to go in there. So let's top this guy off. This is probably my third batch, and I've actually really enjoyed it. Um, normally just a straight black coffee drinker. Um, but it adds a little extra depth to it um, when you're actually first getting it you have to cut this tube to length pretty straightforward and easy you want to make sure it goes right down to the bottom of your canister all right cinch that up pretty tight next you're going to take and put your nozzle on nozzle has to be up to make sure it's closed i recommend Starting it by hand and making sure you have it as dead center as possible. I'm one notch off because when you're done, you can't redo this or you lose gas. So that's it's about right. I mean, a little off is not going to hurt you. Take this key wrench. You want to make sure that you have it very snug because this is going to be under pressure. So every time you get a little dot. There we go. Definitely snug, no leaks. Whoa! Sorry about that. I had to grab my NO2 canister back out of the sink that just fell down the garbage disposal. So wash it off. You set it in your charging handle. Start out, it will actually start to get a little snug. You feel here so what you're going to be doing next you're going to be turning it really quick making sure your handles up and remember when you do this you could start getting any leaks if you do get them so make sure you have a paper towel handy turn quick and all the gas is in i don't see anything dripping or leaking so it looks like everything's sealed tight and this is your gas relief valve so when you're done using your tank and you need to let the rest of the pressure out there you go uh let's see how she looks So in the instructions, it says to give her a little shake. That gets all the nitrogen mixed into your coffee. There we go. You can see it all settling back out. And I can tell you from experience, it tastes awesome. <laughs> 